And you said block, and, and what does that even mean to a patient? What does a block mean? <laughs> Uh, usually it means needles. So it's kind of scary for most patients, right? So most people are thinking that, oh my gosh, you're going to stab me with this giant needle. And it's really tiny. And it's and not I try giant. To. It's not, not giant. giant. Well, it's because they're used tiny. to like biopsies and right, stuff. Right, exactly. Where they're taking samples. No, absolutely. That's such a good point. But I tell them it's smaller than your IV. It's going to be less painful than putting in your IV, honestly. So usually, and we always make sure that we say, hey, we're taking that needle out too when yeah. it's done. And have you seen that stuff work? I do. I see it work all the time. I mean, for our breast cancer patients, there's a lot of indications for it. A lot of times it might be post-mastectomy pain. So that's the pain after that surgery, for example. And then the other indication would be most commonly the actual tumor itself causing pain. Mm -hmm. um, radiation, necrosis, things like that, where there's, there's damage to the tissues and to the nerves from radiation itself. So there's a lot of reasons why patients might need an intervention like a nerve block. And even like post-mastectomy pain just... Like even with tissue expanders or implants, that still can cause pain as well, correct? Yes, absolutely. So there's actually, unfortunately, we don't really have a good idea of exactly who is predisposed to getting post-mastectomy pain. There's certain risk factors, of course, but mm -hmm. everyone will have their own course and somebody will have pain for years and some people will be completely fine after a couple months or even weeks. Mm -hmm.